Okay, now we make a queen, check and rook b7. There we go. So we're going to play some more chess. Let's go back. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go g6, bishop g7. This is plus three, by the way, so I really like this matchup. Um, What's dank? Was the puzzle dank? Okay, well, the puzzle is pretty straightforward, I thought. Okay, let's go E5. Oh, wait, uh, it's not my move. Wait, it's his move. It's not my move. Wait a second. Yikes. I was about to just pre move E5 and he plays D5. I resigned the game. That could have been really bad. Um, Take. Take. I'm going to get a plopper on D4 here. Oh, did I just blunder? Oh, I did just blunder, didn't I? Ah, why did I do this? Should take with the knight too, not the not the rook. Okay, very very poor. Um, I'll go here, try to trade some bishops. I don't know what I'm doing this game. Okay, he goes there. I mean, I can obviously trade. He gets double pawns. I'm not happy. But there should be surely some way to salvage this, I feel like. Maybe just knight h6. Again, I'm not worried about the fossils. I can always just move my king out of the way. Not a great position, but I, I feel like it's kind of okay. Let's just go here. Okay, h3. I can obviously go h4. I think I should, actually. I think I should fix the weaknesses here. Not a good position, though. Will Magnus play the World Rapid and Blitz? I have no idea if he's going to play or not. Thank you to Carson for the 22 months. Uh, I mean, my guess is that probably he will. But again, I think all it, it all depends on the match, really. Okay, what can I do here? My position is just so terrible. I'm just going to go here and just wait, kind of. I mean, he can't really take advantage of anything, it doesn't look like. I was going to take and go H3 at some point. D3. I'm gonna go here try to go knight d7 maybe maybe rook h7 not sure if it makes sense I still am keeping knight g4 in my back pocket as well I will do this now I'll just trade I have rook c8 rook d8 maybe knight maybe knight back hmm and go knight g8 I'm gonna go here in rook g5. Try to take play against this weak g pawn. Although I just allowed this, which was stupid too. Think about this for a second. I don't have rook g5. Yikes. This actually could be really bad. Not knight b6, which is a huge problem. Can't sack an exchange here. I can't move the knight. It's actually very bad, um, like very bad potentially. Terrible, terrible decision by me. I'm gonna try to run my king back or something. Who's there? I don't know if I should be concerned. Now I get f5 and takes maybe. It's still bad. Oh, I gave him knight b6. Yikes. Go here. Did I just blunder. Yeah, I blundered a pawn, of course. Takes, I can take a knight f6, maybe. I still have e4. I mean, I'm trying to survive this. I might be able to make a draw somehow. I'm lucky. But I don't think I'm going to be lucky here. c6 is also a really good move. Take, let's go here, I guess. I have rook g8, rook h5. Go here, I've got rook f2. Rook h6 was maybe a bad move. I'm trying to draw this. Think if I can get some knight c3 in. There are some tricks. I, I think I might be able to draw this game now if I'm lucky. I definitely can't win, but maybe I can draw. The rook c6, I go here. Wait, but now I have knight b5. Oh, I knight. Wait, I actually. Wait, wait, wait a second. Alham is going to lose. I have this knight here. Or is he going to lose? He's actually going to lose this game, I think. Take this one. I don't even know why I did this. 
But I'm going to be able to flag him too, I believe. Again, I don't know why I did this either. What am I doing? Yeah. I misplayed this. I should have been able to flag him, but whatever. It's still a draw. A uh, draw is fine. Oh my gosh. Did I really just do this too? Wow. Oh, I just threw that too. Yeah, I mean, I'm just playing bad chess. Total draw. Maybe Nicholas Sprain. I don't know what I was doing. I just lost my mind there. I thought I could flag him still. It's very, very poor. Um, very, very poor. I just ruined like a lot of work there. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing that game. I mean, I, I should have just sacked the work for the pawn, but I was like, I didn't want to do it, and then I let him get knight c6. And I thought he had less time than he did. He had like 10 seconds there. Of course, I also just gave him e5. He just slows down a little bit. Yeah, that was really bad. Uh, let's go here. Okay, I can trade the bishop here for the knight. I can also take the bishop b3. That was so bad. I also could have I also could have kept the king close to the the queen side there. Deserved loss hardly, but I I'll, I'll I'll win this game uh to offset it cuz I'm already much better. I'm probably already just winning in this game, in fact. Wait, no, he's got knight no, knight c5 I have b4. Yeah, this is already winning. I just wait let's make sure on this before I just blunder I just take the pawn and instantly just make a mistake I also go b4 here which is actually quite reasonable I'm just gonna go b eh, it feels like a bad it feels kind of bad but I'm gonna play it doesn't seem right I did reach 50 yeah 13 points lost of course I mean I should have just sacked the rook for the pawn but for some reason I forgot that that was a possibility I'm gonna go here I don't like a5 he creates he creates a unnecessary weakness in the b pawn and now i mean i think i should just be very happy here i have c4 c5 i can play h4 h5 i can put a knight on c5 or d6 here and this is not going to end well for alham so i can play knight e4 here rook a5 actually looks very fancy schmancy so i'm going to go for it probably not best actually but it's fancy schmancy and Wait, if I just trade it, go here. I mean, he's got a big weakness on F7 too. The problem is all his, all of his pieces are kind of misplaced. I mean, I can even go C4, C5. Okay, but that's just GG's. F7, yeah, game over. Question is, can I? Oh, if takes takes doesn't quite work. Take, go here, clean it up. Two two pawns uh, on the side, pass pawns, end the game very simply. He'll probably resign here, I expect. Who is if he has anything else? He goes there. I mean, here, queen f7, end the game. Checkmate. Oh, I already spoke about Ali Res a little bit earlier. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna play something else. Uh, I think I'll play a St. George. Or maybe it's just no, let's play Sicilian. Um, let's just play here and takes. So here, bishop g7. Nice. I play c3. Wants d4. Wants a big center. What's, I think I'll play e5. Let's go here. I'm gonna go b6. Maybe I have bishop a6 at some point. Maybe knight f6. Maybe knight e7. Just keep it simple. Knight e7 might be better to keep the diagonal open. Maybe I, I, I now have bishop a6. I just realized so not so simple to play okay now I do have bishop a6 which I will definitely play here maybe I should have traded first and gone bishop a6 but so be it that would have been much better 
Cool coverage for World Championship. I will be doing coverage about like an hour or two into it. Uh, wait, 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 wait a second. I take and take, I guess. I have 97. I think I'm just gonna take and. Oh, did I just hang some? Oh my gosh, I just hung. He had E5. He didn't play it. I mean, I kind of hung it. A little bit lucky that he didn't take advantage of it. Maybe very lucky, in fact. I guess if I go 97, 97, 95 is playable. 97, Queen E7, E5, takes, takes. Rook E8 is playable. What am I even doing this game? I go rook c8, rook d1. I'm gonna play h5. Idea to play h4 here. I don't know if it makes sense. Play h4. If e5, I just take. If he takes, I go knight h5. I don't know if this is right. This looks a little bit sketchy. If g4, I can take, of course, with the pin. And obviously, trade takes, takes knight h5, knight f4. Play on the dark squares, maybe. I don't know if I love it. Okay, so he does that. So I take, of course. Actually, he had e5 right away, I just realized. Let's go here. e5, I go rook e8, e6, I can just take, and I'm fine. Actually, e5, I can also just take, take, and I'm fine. Looks pretty good. Will Nepo dare to play the scotch? I don't think anybody knows what he's going to play exactly. I mean, I think it's uh, very, very unclear. Very, very unclear. I don't think anyone really... It's just too hard to guess. That's that's what I would say. Just too too hard to guess. Okay, he goes there. Um, I think I'm going to go here to take the file, maybe. Bishop e5 allowed knight c4. I didn't really like that, which is why I played rook c8. I want to stop the knight from jumping, and I want to take the dark squares eventually. I have e5, I go rook e8. b3. So he really wants knight c4 badly here. But I think I'm, I'm just going to go for it anyway. I don't think I can really stop it at this point. F2. Okay, let's go. Go here. Try to undermine this pawn at all costs. I think I'm I think I'm think better here, most likely. They'll play Rui, Rui Lopez. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea what the openings are going to be in the match. Just too hard to guess. Really, really just too hard. I don't I don't think we'll see Spanish. Hmm. I'm gonna go B5, undermine the knight. I have Rook C2 at some point. Of course I should not have done this, but such is life. Say la vie. Let's go here, I guess. I thought I'd rook b2 here. Um, I can also go b4. Let's go b4. Keep it simple. Put the pawn on a dark square. Bishop can't touch it. Goes bishop e2. Logical move. I have to be a little bit careful now. I'll go here. Is there I do have rook h1 maybe so rook h1 target the pawn here I think I should be winning here now I guess I take go check and now rook h2 ID three okay let's go here I guess how do I check made him actually? Check he comes up. Oh wait, wait, my rook's under attack. What am I doing? Let's just go here, I guess. I want to go check, I guess. But I can just escape. Again, I feel like I'm getting close to messing this up. Go. Okay, let's go here. There we go. 
go. Got the win. Let's keep going. Two up, two down. Already repaired most of the damage. Actually, not most of the damage. It's only six points, but repaired some of the damage at least. Go here, knight, knight f3. Hey to Ermake. Thank you to C CHDA Presents for the tier one. No, it was not checkmate, you guys. Uh, it was not checkmate. It was not checkmate because on Rook F1, he is King G2, so it was not so simple. Okay, Elham is thinking for a long time here. I'm just going to castle. Go here, Bishop B3, of course. Am I playing the World Blitz in Rapid? I probably will be playing it because uh, if I when, when I play it, then I will uh, then I will be able to play in the Fide Grand uh, Fide Grand Prix. So I would say very likely I'm going to be playing. It's like 90% certainty I'll be playing the World Rapid and Blitz. Have we asked you, Carter, what do you think about Levy today? If not, let's let it be written, let it be done. I have nothing to say, you guys. I took a week off, and I I mean I'm not. I'm not here to talk about that, but thank you. Congrats on joining OTV. I did not join OTV, um, but you know I like what they're doing. They're great. They're a great, uh, great organization. Let's play Queenie One. I feel like I did something wrong here somehow. Maybe I should have gone E5. Yeah. Yeah, I have nothing. To, I have nothing to. Con I have nothing to say, you guys. Sorry. Sorry, I got a week off from that. I'm not I'm not about to dive in. I'm not about to have to deal with it. it the first day back. Thank you to Piyush Bahal for the five months. I just nipped the other uh, just nip the uh nip the uh what nip the bud or nip something in the bud. I forget what the saying is. Um as far as the other topic, which I'm sure everyone wants to hear hear about, um uh, I, I don't know, maybe they aren't streaming today because it hasn't because it hasn't been uh hasn't been mentioned. Um, but you know. The other topic people love to, to bring up is Botez. And it's really great to see it's great to see how well their travel show is doing. So I will say that before people are like, oh, you know, you know, they have so many viewers, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So um, so that's that's what I would say, because I'm I'm sure people want nip the juicer in the bud. Yeah. So I mean, so for all the people who are ready to start with that nonsense, um, I will just add that very uh, very briefly as well. It's really great to see. Um great to see see that show popping off. Now he goes Queen D6 here. Slightly strange move. Um, I can obviously take and play knight e4 here. I know I'm much better. I just have to be smart about this. How do I do this? I know I'm better, but I can't quite see it. Hmm. Where is the win? Why, why can't I see it? I can't see it, so I'm just going to go e5. Oh, this might be wrong, too. Maybe I go bishop f6 and like queen h3. I'm gonna go Queen H3 and G4. I also have Queen F4. I should go to Italy. I Ludwig's thing looks kind of interesting. I mean, I, I've been in Italy many times. Um But it, Italy, I don't know. I don't know. That that'll be interesting to see how, how that goes. I'm gonna go G4 next move. I mean, ho hopefully they're hopefully they're not going not going to Rome. That's what I would say. Let's play G4 here. Um then just play knight g5 next move oh i could have gone knight g5 right away why didn't i just do that stupid i mean rome yeah i mean rome is the i mean big a take he's gonna take i'm gonna take i'm up a pawn here this doesn't mean it's really lovely or anything i might have just blown this game too i should have just gone knight g5 right away okay but that's just a big mistake um wait no no he is he's queen d5 wait i have to be smart about this um, I'm much better, but I have to be smart how I play this. Actually, maybe I just go here and queen e4, actually. What's the big deal? Queen h4, queen d5. Oh, this is tricky. This is actually very tricky. Wait a second. And again, I feel like I'm... Now I, now I know I'm overthinking it. Let's just go here. Takes, I can take and check. This should just be crushing. Actually, I don't know why you did this. This should be crushing. Why did I not play Tata still weak lineup? Less money in Hawaii. I think it very north for the prime. I think it was for the 18th. Uh, as far as why I did not play in that, it's because I planned a family vacation. I think I planned the vacation like four months ago. Like it was a vacation I planned a long time ago. Um, so because of that, actually, I can just go here. 
um and he has no good moves uh, as a vacation i planned a very long time ago and i was invited to still they made me a very good offer by the way like it was, a, it was a very good financial offer um but basically i had already planned this vacation you know my parents aren't aren't super young i mean my stepfather's i think he's uh he's set he's 70 he's 69 right now or no he's 70 he turned 70 in sep on september 11th um so he's he's 70 like i mean my mom is like 61 so they're not getting any younger and i just like you know it's uh you know time is passing so i i figured that's more important than than, than one chess tournament that's what i would say um so here i can play rook c8 next move i think i i think i will yeah i'm gonna go h5 it's probably not a good move he's gonna go like h4 i'm gonna castle i guess i have this against daniel something similar to this not this exact position but something similar um uh, my grandmother i saw yesterday she is i believe 86 i think or 87 not 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 getting younger either i'm gonna go queen a5 here so yeah so he became 50 on 9 11. he did yeah that was his 50th birthday i mean anybody who has a birthday on one of those dates like i don't know like december 7th or like september 11th or one of those dates yeah so it's pretty sucky pretty sucky to put it mildly because like you you can't i mean you just can't celebrate your birthday ever again um i've misplayed this i have definitely misplayed this i'm gonna go here in bishop e6 maybe i mean this is quite disgustingly bad am i supporting them financially no they still work uh well my mom doesn't but my stepfather does he still teaches chess he just chess in new york if he doesn't celebrate the terrorist win yes but it's kind of it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to celebrate i mean like so many people lost their lives um okay i, I think i'm just gonna castle if e5 i'll just take I, I don't know what's going on but it's game yeah can we say you're partially retired from chess no i'm not retired from chess what gave you that impression i'm playing the world rapid and blitz i'm gonna play the feet of grand prix i'm gonna win it i'm gonna i'm gonna go beat ollie res and the candidates um okay let's see uh i can go bishop g4 here yeah let's go bishop g4 attack the rook here um play e5 let's play e5 i can just take <laughs> shots fired well qualifying is uh qualifying is is uh is not gonna be easy let's put it that way um oh right it's gonna that's gonna end up on reddit right that's gonna end up on reddit of course obviously obviously uh i'm playing the grand prix that confirmed i mean i don't know what i should or shouldn't say but i let's just say if i play the world rapid and blitz i will be playing the uh the grand prix that's that's a little bit that i'm gonna say about it um okay so i can take on f4 here i don't know if i want to i can also play like a6 and b actually i think a6 b5 looks very very reasonable for me here i've got a great i've got a great light square grip here and i'm gonna go rook c8 and triple stack a6 b5 b4 so it's pretty good did i hang out with otb it was very brief so unfortunately i mean it was, i just did that shoot for like two hours and then i had to go um then i had to drive home i mean it was pretty funny because for that shoot i think lena was actually there and um because i parked in one of these like ten dollar parking lots or whatever it was i actually had to ask her to move my car once because i would have gotten a ticket otherwise let's go rook d8 attack the queen go b5 maybe bishop h6 very very pleasant position here very very pleasant here i just traded at bishop f5 I and mean, this looks this is looking very very special um i uh, love your sketch with OTV. Any future collabs? No, I don't. I'm not in Hawaii anymore. I'm, I'm back in LA. Um, uh, whoa, what is... Wait a second. I did not even see... It. Did, Elha, did Elham just trick me somehow? Okay, I can take and take. I just take and take I mean it's very creative move by Elham I don't think it quite works but very creative I take gets the rook behind my two bishops should be good though my two bishops should be good I, I think these pawns are too fast okay he's gonna go for this one which definitely doesn't work because I also guard the only open file so he can't infiltrate um I don't want to check bishop f5 is a reasonable move but i think i'm gonna go here here and take this seems like a pretty clean idea i just don't he's just not fast enough here with this pawn take ah uh, he has an idea with rook c7 but i still think it's too slow i can also go b6 but i think does it actually matter 
think I will just 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 why not my bishop should cover the square too yeah my bishop covers everything and now I think I just go here in h2 and h2 h1 classic wooden shield and I just take them on all right let's go d4 here okay I can play like knight f3 just keep going let's play knight f3 here you get a Simo mess for the 10 months. Thank you so much, Simo mess. Let's go Bishop F4, play E3 next move, keep it rolling. Go here, Knight D2, Bishop D3. Actually, I don't know why I played this order. It's not great, but we'll do it. London, yeah. London is an opening. It's a good opening, you guys. You got you gotta you gotta look at it. I mean, I blame myself for uh, for its popularity. If I hadn't if I hadn't accidentally showed it to Foosley for uh, the game against E Rob and Pog Champs, I don't think it would have ever gotten the status it has now um when I play SEC that I do not know you guys I have no idea on that no idea that's that's actually yeah that's actually not far from far from the truth that's what's kind of amazing not that's not far from the truth okay I mean I guess I'll just take the juicer why not it's a free pawn okay so he wants to go e5 I'm gonna give him a big center but I mean maybe I just go here and take I mean I can obviously trade I think I'm just gonna castle though Keep it simple e4 i mean i can take i can also go b4 b4 e4 knight d4 let's just do it e4 i'm gonna take and take and take okay it goes there i guess i'll go queen a4 or queen b3 i don't know which one's right but i'm gonna go here obviously trade i'll just go here if e4 i think i'm gonna go knight d4 c4 and try to blast off bishop e6 makes a lot of sense let's go here attack the knight now he goes bishop d7 i don't think i want to grab i think i'm just going to play here and he'll probably play a6 i'll trade and then move the queen back again let's take i don't really like this for black though because i'm covering the center squares i can go a4 b4 a4 b5 i have c4 as well doesn't look quite right somehow for black go a4 just watch the latest YouTube video. That was my brother that asked you to play the Bonk Cloud. Oh, that's hilarious. Awesome. Goes F5. Of course, I play B5. Just keep opening it up. Let's go here. Guard the pawns. Again, black has a big center, but I mean, I am up a pawn, and I'm going to keep pushing on the queen side here. I don't really believe in it. I mean, you can try G5, but it just doesn't feel right. I also have C6 as well, which is, which is a big problem for black, too. I think I'm just much better. Any plans to return to Hawaii soon? Not, not right now. No, this is a Elham. Elham, what's his? I, he, I don't remember his last name. Um, but this is Elham. He is a. Uh, let's go here, knight a five, maybe. Also c four. Open up the file. This jump. I have this. Everything is looking very, very good for me here. And he's got no real kingside attack. It's just too slow. First name L, last name Ham. Yeah, exactly. His name is Elham. The the big Ham. Although that's not that's not how you say ham in Spanish, so it wouldn't be al ham. It would be something else. Uh, thank you to XM Flakes. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's Spanish for ham. Yeah, ham is not ham. That's the only reason it doesn't work. So he's trying to get an attack here, but I, I mean, oh, he's got actually he has f4, which I missed. Um, actually, this might be a little tricky then. Somehow I just forgot he had f4 here. Let's go here go here cover this this is actually quite tricky I have to be very careful here I might have misplayed this, this he might be crashing through I think I might have made a big mistake um yeah I made a big mistake here it's actually very dangerous yeah I guess I have to go I just blundered this this is insane I actually just blundered. Go here and pray. I do have knight c6 though. That's why my one redeeming thing here. I don't think the queen sack works, right? Because I just I escape. I mean, I think I kind of have to go all in here. I have knight b7 or knight c6. I think I have to go all in. He was trying to create a checkmate, by the way. That's his idea. Queen g3 and bishop e. Oh, that's not mate though. Why did I do this? So I'm going to take the rook. Bishop 
e5. I saw this is a move. I thought I'd maybe c6 here. I go to g1 probably. I'm covering the squares here. I mean, my pawn is very, very fast. My pawns are really fast here on the queen side. So I think I'm winning, but it goes queen g7. I mean, I can play c7. I can also move my rook to f1. As long as I don't, as long as I don't lose on time, or as long as I don't lose on the board. I start as bishop e1. So knight e6 is not a move. He wants queen h6. That's the obvious choice so here and here. That's a mistake, though, I think. I have this. And I stop the checkmate. Yeah, I saw that. But I think now I can go here and check. I'm just safe. And I'm threatening mate in one, basically, with knight e6 or knight f7. This doesn't do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I think you take on for the three. Joel Haven for the 12. It's, it's a win. I think queen h2 is a slip. I think he meant to go queen h1. But it's it's what it is. Anyway, five in a row. We gotta win five more. Five more. That's it. That's the goal. Okay, let's keep going with the night orcs and the dragons. Yeah, he had no time. So thank you, Boss Washer Boards, for six months. Okay, he's gonna play this again. How much longer do I plan on streaming? Um, for some wait a second. Is this a blunder or not? Wait. 94, 96, knight c3, bishop f7. Knight b7. This order looks wrong somehow to me. I don't know why it looks wrong. They had an easy kid for the five gift. This, this order looks wrong. So I mean the question is do I trust my instinct that it's wrong or do I just play? I'm just gonna play chess, I guess. Go here, hit the bishop. Maybe just a6. I think I can actually castle on this one. The h4, I have h5, g4. Okay, place bishop h6, which maybe is wrong because I can sack an exchange, although I don't know if it's right. I can also take and play like e5. Hmm. Let me think for a second. I'm going to go e5 here. I think you know Moses for the 12 months. He had knight takes f7 at the end, maybe. Wait, if I take and take, wait a second. Is queen d6? No, I, I have to take. I think I think I, I think this is correct. Let's see. Is knight b5 here knight e2? And then I take and play like rook c6 and queen a5, and it's pretty aggressive. Not clear cut, of course, but playable. So I prefer the knight over the dragon. The knight over is a little bit better, generally. At least in top level games, I would say. First Bond Cloud that I played, I don't know when the first Bond Cloud was. It's been, it's been a long time. I mean, I think someone from Seattle showed me that PDF. I don't remember when it was exactly this. Of course, I take and play here. Right, but when he takes this way, I think there's supposed to be some trick with. I think there's some trick with d5 and b5 b4 as i recall there's also a bishop f5 check so i think white's supposed to take with the a pawn so let's go check now i go b4 and it's a little bit sketchy here okay, let's go b4 of course yeah i knew about the bond cloud before i streamed but i don't remember when when i first um, when, when that first became like the meme. Well, I think I maybe I did this wrong too somehow. I think I did. Um, go here, hit the pawn. He takes. I have rookie eight, of course, to win material. This king is also a little bit bad here. The king is kind of bad here because it's kind of boxed. And if he ever tries to create lift, I can take and weaken his structure. So he goes knight g3. I can play. I think just queen d6 is fine here. Problem is this king is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna go. Actually, he has 94 ideas, so I do have to be careful how I do this. Let's see, rook c7 and rook c8 looks fine. Go six queen f6 knight h5 takes knight f5 takes. Queen g5 is a is a fairly serious threat here, so I think I'm gonna play h6. Just stop this idea. If rook f6, I can just take with the queen. 
94 I can always trade I really want to go rook c5 at some point like rook c5 rook c8 go for the go for the back rank checkmates because of this king position with this this weird structure around it plays h4 I don't like that um wait rook c5 he has rook f6 I keep forgetting that he has that move I'm trying to play h5 I go h5 he has queen g5 which would be a disaster go here attack the queen Is there some trick that I'm missing if I play f5 if he takes like if he takes with the rook I take 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 then I have like knight knight e3 I believe also rook f5 allows knight f2 as well I should be better here unless I'm crazy which is very possible that I am thank you to Jerry rack for the two Tony likes physics thank you to I hate and for the 17 months thank you so much appreciate it it goes to e2 which has to be a mistake um because now I can lock the knight permanently and now his pawn is bad I have e4 as well because of the overprotection of the knight here I can also go a5 even rook c5 looks amazing queen g5 I guess is his idea don't want to play e4 rook c5 queen g5 okay wait but I, I okay I'm just gonna sidestep queen g5 anyway go here trade some queens here. Oh, I gave him 94, which I should not have given him. That was very poor by me. Oh, this is actually really bad by me. Let's go here. So that now I can go here, maybe. Should still be winning. Again, his king is so bad here. King is so bad on A1. Okay, go here, and I mean... Go here, knight D3, I guess. What am I doing? Okay, I've checked me on B2. He can't stop it. Not so good in the scrambles. Thank you to Xin Hunt for the 16 months. Not very good in these scrambles, but I but I got it done. Okay, let's go back to E4. Keep it simple. Don't even know what I was beating him with before. I think I, was, I played a London, right? So let's go here, here, trade. trade of course go back take d4 just castles probably rook d1 I guess stop e5 oh it didn't actually stop it I guess hmm I think JG for the three thing of cure cure of zombies thank you so much I mean Bishop g5 is again a move as is d5 a d5 is also again a move is it a good move or a bad move just do it I guess hopefully this isn't bad take take with the rook or not take with the rook that's the question queen d5 knight of six small edge move. I'm gonna take with the rook so I think I'm gonna go I should be e3 is a move queen b3 is also a reasonable move I'm gonna go here just want to prevent f5 he plays knight b6 which I saw as a move but I didn't think it was a great move because I figured I could finish my development now with like bishop g5 Here's rook c8 which I also don't really understand but bishop e3 wait a second let's think about this I guess I'll play c3 I don't really like it but it's reasonable I have bishop e3 pressure on these pawns Queen c4 I can obviously trade go b3 c4 he goes knight c4 actually that's a very good move why did I forget about that as a move that's uh, very poor by me go here target the pawn I guess I can play rook a d1 next move um all these pawns are a little bit weak here what's the most important piece rook or the bishop I mean they're all they're all somewhat important go here and trade be careful now still slightly better I think but it's not not trivial a7 is again weak it was f5 which I think I'm kind of happy to see I felt like I should have some tactic here but I don't see it so I guess I'll just come back with the knight maybe f1 was better 
hard to judge. F1 D2 is definitely better. I don't know why I went to E2. D6. I guess I'll just go. Maybe just F3 and Bishop F2 here. I don't like my position. If E4, I just trade and move the rook away because he can't take to the pin. And play Bishop F2 here. I'm going to go to C1, though. Kind of worried about stuff on this king side. Look here. Maybe just King H1. Maybe Knight G3 is a move. Really don't like my position here. If E3, I have Rook F1, which is completely fine. See what he does. Goes 95. So that's a mistake. Now I have this. I still got Rook C4. Let's just bring the king closer, I guess. Should have gone Bishop D2. Should have done this in one go, so I have B3 and bring the bring the bring the knight in. Very poor. I go H3, knight F6, I guess. Still good. Go H3. Knight bishop E5. I thought I had B3 here, maybe. Let's go here. Take the pawn, and now I should be winning. Maybe winning is too strong a word. Okay, it goes knight f6. I can play check. Obviously just trade, but I think I'm going to check goes c4 and just play the position. I also have rookie one here. Actually, this might just be losing. He can't go to the d fox because of the, the fossil here. He goes here. Maybe I go rookie one, hit the bishop. This actually looks really, really bad for, for black. Let's go here. I play knight f3. I can also just take a pawn. I mean, it is a pawn. Go c4. Up two pawns, very clean position here. Uh, what does that do? Doesn't do anything. Really doesn't do anything, but I'll just go knight g5 and knight f3, I guess. If knight e5, I have bishop b4. He goes, I do have b4 here. Let's go here, though. Keep it very simple. Bring the king up, and, and now it's just very easy, very routine. Go knight g5, knight e4. Rookie six is a move. Everything's collapsing here for black, I think. Let's go check and take. Now I'm just going to run the pawn off the board. Pawn is just going. Let's go here. He checks, takes, and I just won the game anyway. Three more to go. Probably keep playing Sicilian. It's been working so far. I think it a Khalil lull for the 16. They get to the Mac for the 16. Let's keep going. Let's go here. Let's play more Dragon. He keeps doing this. I don't really believe in it. He hasn't really shown me anything exceptional yet. So let's go here. Knight a5. Rook c8. All very standard. He does it again. Okay, so let's play e5. Let's just take two. From 0, 1 to 7, 1. Yeah, I've won seven in a row. Does this all take? Takes with the A pawn, which I believe is the correct move. So I'm going to go here. I mean, I have B5 and Queen A5. I think Queen A5 is supposed to be the right move. So let's go here. I have Queen A1 coming in now. It's pretty scary for, for white, I believe. But we'll see if I'm playing the right way or not. A lot of threats down towards a1 here also he's not even mating me even if he takes so i can take with the f pawn my knight still guards h7 so it should be good also he can't really go king b1 here because then i go rook a6 i mean wait a second if i take wait a second wait a second wait a second wait a second. wait 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 a second okay so obviously i should trade I, think I just go b5 and win but maybe i'm insane b5 h5 takes 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 there's no, no nothing happening let's just go here he's gonna go h5 i just take he takes and i take my knight guards and i think he just loses the game i don't believe in dragons robert james fisher and me i mean i do believe in dragons dragons are great 
Maybe just Shazley for the nine months. There's so much Shazley appreciates. There's just nothing he can do. He can go H5, but he's not actually mating because my lone knight protects my king and everything else is shifting towards where his king is. Oh, did he find something tricky? Wait, did I just take? Yeah, but now I just come back. And it's over. Okay, eight up, eight down. Let's keep going. Let's go E4 again. He could have tried the other order maybe with H5 first, but it still wouldn't have done it, done much. Go here and trade, not bishop c4 this time, something a little bit different. What did I do? I think I played rook d1 and d4, right? And bishop g5 is the right order. Wait a second. Bishop g5, I think it's fine. Because takes, I take and go queen f4. He does it this way. Let's take. Take. I have d5 or knight e4 first. I just have to figure out the ordering. I think I'm going to go d5 first. So he doesn't get f5 with the tempo here. Drop back and take. Maybe I should have put the knight on e4. Who knows? Am I going to cover the match live? I will cover it. Um... I go here and I have rook d1. I mean, this should be pleasant for me. I have rook d7. Isn't that just a blunder? Or am I crazy? It's just a blunder. Wow, Elheim is actually completely tilting here. He's just tilting now here. Go to c5, play d6 next move. Um, can you change the LEDs in your room complement the shirt instead of washing it out a warmer tone? Um, I can't do that because it's automatic. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, but anyway, 9-1, just keep keep going. See, a couple of... No, I mean, Alham's playing great chess. I mean, he's, he's playing good chess. He's just not quite there today. I have knight g4 as well. Of course, he has to go h3. He plays that. Wait a second. I'll still castle. I don't... I mean, the idea is obviously knight g4. Go here. Probably goes knight d2 to guard. Plays d5, I just move the knight. That doesn't really look right in this structure because he moved the rook, so he doesn't really have f4 anymore. If rook's on f1, it makes more sense. I can take and go bishop b7. Let's take and go play like this. Bishop guards the knight. Now I have e5, I just take. I've got knight d5. Thank you to believe Koshi for the three months. Thank you so much to believe Koshi. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's see what he does here. Plays a3. I mean, I can play like queen c7 here. I mean, queen e7 is also. How do I do? Wait, wait, wait a second. Queen e7 is definitely reasonable. The question is, where, where do I want my queen? I'm going to put my queen here. I assume that the more pressure there is in the center, the better it is. Well, I could have also gone knight d7 there, maybe. I want to go rook d8, I think. Purple is my favorite color. Yeah, I can't I can't adjust the lighting. The lighting is what it is. It's blue. It's either blue or black, depending on if anyone's here. Is this tilted Monday? I would not no, it's not. Okay, so he trades, which I really, I really don't like that. Uh he wants 95, which actually that makes a lot of sense. If I play Rook D8 95, I just trade and go knight a5. That should be fine. There's no no fault. I don't think he has fossils, but let's see. Let's see. Maybe he's right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't see the fossils, and I think he's just losing the pawn. If he moves the knight, I take this one also. Like, the problem is the double X is, again, crashing through. His problems everywhere. There, again, no fossils. I can always just trade. And even just sidestep. I mean, I think this is really bad for Alham. Looks, looks really, really bad for him. Looks really, really bad. The big ham is in bad shape. Elham, I think he's like 15. Very, very talented junior player. He's having a bad day today. I mean, but very, very talented. Now, he goes B4, but I mean, again, I don't think it works. I think I just take and take the juicer. Is this a free juicer? Am I insane? I can also take the rook, but I don't really want to give him weird counterplay, so I'm just going to take the pawn. I mean, it's rook b1 or rook a4, but both of them don't really do a whole lot. It goes rook b1. I mean, I think I, I think I can actually just go like queen a3 here and just sit, 
sit in the sun and just capture this pawn here again all his pieces are really misplaced doesn't look good bad news for alham goes 94 that doesn't do anything though because i can just take Wait, he has bishop g5. He does have an idea, though. So I guess I take this way, then. Oh, I just blundered. Oh, my. I just blundered that. Whoops. What was that? I, oh, yeah, yeah. I just made a huge blunder. That should have been the end of the game, and I just blundered. That was just the end of the game, and I blundered instead. So bad. Now it's going to be tricky. I mean... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I doing? I just threw that game so hard. What was that? I just blundered in one go. It was crazy. Yeah, no, no. I just I threw that game really hard. Let's play one more. Just made like five blunders in a row. Let's go here. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know what I was thinking. I just, just like suddenly lost my mind for a second. Take. That was insane. Let's go here. Castles. Rookie one. I'll still gain points if I win this game, so it's not too bad. Shabbat 4 is not a good move. Um, let's play here. Just drop back. Yeah, I, I was just like, I, I, I basically, I took the wrong, with the wrong piece. And then I just, I just like mentally, my mind just shut down. My mind just completely shut down. I mean, it's completely winning for me. My mind just blocked, just blocked out. Unfortunate. Okay, let's, so I can play A4 here, which I will play. I can Tango Bishop C4. Go 94 next move. Should be very, very pleasant for me. Doesn't mean it's winning or anything, but very pleasant. Thank you to Goldman Sachs for the 12. Thank you to Seat Soul for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Seat Soul. I was going to have a turkey sandwich, but I'm going to go with ham. Feels lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, yeah, temporarily spaz. 94, 96 already. Elham's probably lost. And maybe lost is too strong, but he's in very bad shape again. Very bad pawn structure, no central break. Great Bastion for the knight here. Very well placed. Very tough position to play. Thinking Goldman Sachs, of course. Why would I not think Goldman Sachs? Um, actually, the weird thing is I don't have a clean way to take advantage. So I think I'm just going to play traditional, just like Bishop H4. You can play G5, but then he weakens his whole king side here if he starts pushing. So I'm just going to leave the bishop here. The bank is here to collect the debt. But Goldman Sachs isn't the one swing Tesla. It's uh, it's um, it's J.P. Morgan, right? It's a different bank. Um. Anyway, yeah. Let's see. Queen C8 doesn't do any. I mean, C4 is obviously again very very pleasant. There's so many ways to play this. So I'm really just not sure what I want to do. Yeah, we go again. I'm gonna play Knight E4 next move. Maybe C4. Maybe B3. Position looks very good for me. It really it really looks very pleasant, but. I still have to prove it because last game it was I was right there at the finish line and then I just threw it all away. Let's go bishop g3. No queen f4 nonsense. Not let we, we aren't gonna let him trade the queens. Now I'm gonna slowly grind him on the queen side here. C4. Force open this open. Force open the C file. 94, 96. Yeah, you know, let's keep going. He has to trade. We'll take. Uh, th thank you to 119J for the 10 months. Thank you to Wispu as well. Thank you to Jim Canty. Um, God's second had a really difficult SSB on tournament yesterday. I appreciate your perspective on competitive. Okay, I'm going to go here. I've got rook b8 to end the game. Uh, if he goes 97, I have 94, I think. Uh, it doesn't actually do what I wanted to do because he's got a trick with knight f5 that I forgot all about. <sighs> Frustrating. I guess I'll just go back then. It's not what I wanted. I'm still probably better here, but it's not. Definitely not what I wanted at all. If he goes knight f5, I will take. Takes with the E pawn, which hangs uh, a very this hangs a C pawn, which is actually very critical here. Uh, you finished second in a tournament. Yeah, I'll get to that in one second. Let me just not. Last game I, I just completely threw it away for no reason. So let's not let's not do the same thing here. So give me a second. The free pawn. Okay, I can go bishop e5. I think I'm just gonna go here though. Knight e5. I have knight c4. I thought. Yeah, and I'm feeling like I'm close to throwing this game. Go here, target the knight of knight d6 next move, of course. I could have also just traded, I guess, but. D8, bishop d4, c6. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Check. 
Oh, he's got 92. Wait, no, it doesn't do anything. Let's check take. Pawn should be too fast here, I think. King F8, then I go then I go C6, knight B6. Yeah, this just wins. Knight E2. Okay, that kind of does something, but I don't think it does enough. But my A pawn is still way too fast here. If he takes, I just go A7 and bye bye birdie, and that's that's game over. Let's go again. Actually, I want to get to I want to get back to 3180. That's going to be my goal. Thank you to Cool K for the 14. Okay, I'll do the same thing. I mean, I was much better in that previous game, so I'm I'm more than willing to go back into it. If he does the same thing. Thank you to DV Dale for the 10 months. Thanks so much to DV Dale. Okay, is he gonna he's gonna be? Oh, he's gonna play this. I thought he was gonna be a big boy and play like the Yugoslav attack. So he plays this. It's a little bit weird. Um. Here, play rook c8. I mean, this is all pretty standard still. Let's go here. You need a night walk for the 12th Harry Hopkins. And yeah, the question was um, disappointed in your tan, by the way. My tan is not good enough. Sorry. I spent a lot of time actually out in the sun. Um, competitive mentality is tough, though. I think I think what I would say about. Oh, why did I do that? That's such a bad move. What am I doing? Castles. Three. Let's go back. Whoa, thank you to Mamba Forever for the 100 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Mamba Forever. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 100 gifted. Uh, now, in the meantime, I've conveniently blundered, naturally. I mean, maybe I have this. Let's go here. I think this is kind of okay still. Maybe F4 is not quite right. Because I think if E5, I just take, take. Not actually sure what's going on here. Thank you so much to Mamba Forever for the 100 gifted you know, vintage gamer for the four months as well. Thank you so much. Okay, now I need to be very careful how I play this. I'm gonna go e5 here. And it goes here. I thought I could actually take and maybe go king e7. Take and go here. Sidestep out of the way. It actually doesn't look right though. Maybe it's okay though. Mm. I do have a6, maybe. It's a very weird position. Very, very weird position. Maybe he can grab. I think that's what he's thinking about is whether he can grab this pawn on a7. Very, very strange position. He does grab, so I'm going to sidestep. I still have bishop h6. I have e takes f4 as well. Not clear cut because now I'm actually threatening b6 to win the bishop. So he. Did he just did he just attempt to emulate good old Bobby? Did he try to be a Bobby? I think he tried to be a Bobby and trap his own bishop. Yeah, he just tried to be a Bobby. And um again, out of all the chess players in the world that you can try to emulate, you do not want to emulate Bobby Fisher. Terrible chess player. Just no no good potser. Let's take and go 98, of course. Uh I do have Bishop F8 here. I think uh I think 98 is just fine though. I just take. Um <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to emulate Fisher. I mean, look at that guy. What what a fish. He trapped his bishop on h2 against Spask. He's so bad. Um, also, queen d7, I can go here. Takes king h7. I think I'm just fine. I can also go queen b8. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's, let's not throw. Um, trying to fit. Wait a second. Wait a second. Queen b8. I take h7. c3, knight f6. I think that's pretty clean. It, that's cleaning it up very neatly go here Just e6 i think queen e5 is fine i hope this is fine let's go here threaten checkmate and checkmate in two i'm gonna go king h7 next move or knight f6 no i misplayed this this is actually very unclear again Try to get fancy when it wasn't needed. Completely was not needed to be fancy here. <sighs> Trying to be way too fancy for no reason. Go here. Now I just threw again. Trying to be way too fancy for no reason. Go here and take. I mean, if I get... Oh, he's just got e5. Yeah, I, I just literally did what I did last game. I'm completely winning. And then I tried to get fancy, and I just threw it for no good reason. 
Literally for no reason. I tried to get fancy and I just threw it. Yeah, it's, I've, I've, I've played too many games. Now I'm just throwing hard. That was so bad. That was like minus five. And then I played queen e5. Okay, what do I have to win? Five in a row. Completely winning. Yeah, that's the problem with the rating as well. At some point, it's like you get careless one game. Like, you get careless in one game and just like that, and you have to start all over. But I'm going to win six and then I'm going to stop. Oh, I meant to go c3, not b3. Luckily, it's not, uh, luckily it's not a, um, it's not the end of the world, but I meant to go C3. Hmm. Smoke this ham. I mean, I'm doing well. It's 10-3. Like, that's a very good score. It's just not, not good enough to really gain points. But I'll win six in a row. I'll win six more. That, that would get it to what? Or I'll win seven. Seven gets it, seven would get it to even 20. So I need to win seven in a row, which shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, it goes 95. But again, after after this this opening that I just played, it's like unbelievably hard to do. Go here, I guess. He has to not like tilt and just make a big blunder out of nowhere. Because I, I meant to go C three, not B three. Although maybe the position's okay. It looks relatively okay. Especially if I get Bishop B two to target the diagonal. It's strange. Ninety five might just be a blunder. Very strange. How bizarre. It goes e6, which is, is fine. Play bishop b2 or bishop a3. Do I want to make the rook move? I don't think so. So I'm going to go here first. Blunder? Did I blunder something? Wait a second. I can sack a queen, but after that last game, I'm not going to risk another loss. I'm just going to go queen e4 here. Takes. I think I just take. Knight d2, I go queen f4. Takes, and I have rook d1. And after he takes, I just take back and he resigns. e6 was probably an okay move, but knight c4, I think, was just a blunder. I think it was a blunder, at least. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. what he does keep in the tank who is he talking to i'm talking to myself you guys that's that's who i'm talking to i mean he's still trying i don't know if he's trying to make knight h3 work or what he's trying to make work but nothing really works here as far as i can tell yeah nothing he can really do here probably he'll probably he'll resign short soon is my guess I, I still don't see any moves i'm talking to the competitive guys no i'm talking to all of, all of you guys who are what who are who are watching takes okay right now i take because on queen d2 oh actually wait he does have this which i forgot was a move as well naturally symbol symbol stores i'm starting to slip quite a bit i guess i'll go d4 this knight on f4 is very loose very very loose i'm gonna go here he also burns so much time there but i'm gonna go rookie five and, and, and crash through i also have rookie four he's got no time 38 seconds and ticking We'll probably just resign i guess we'll probably resign maybe not it goes f6 which i of course don't like but it's not like he had anything better go here go here target the pawns 92 i think it was zippers as well appreciate it. of course i gave him 96 which i should not have allowed i'll go h4 he's got no time so as long as i don't make a howl howling blunder i will win this game Thank you to Eric Music for the seven. Thank you to West Tank as well. Thank you so much. I'm playing H5. I mean, I can even just go. We need three is probably good enough. I mean, I feel like it's a blunder, but he's got no time, so I don't need to be super precise. Of course, I as soon as I say that, I just blunder this. Ridiculous. Hey, I mean, I'm gonna win because he has no time, but I'm not very happy with this. It was there. Never should have allowed this either. There we go. We just take. 
Very, very poor game. Very poor. Five to go. Go here. Very, very poor. Thank you to the last dance for the tier one. Okay, it's back to playing the same line. Okay, so let's go here. And a castle. I will castle, of course. Uh, I castles king side this time. He doesn't do the same line. Okay, I guess I go a6, b5 here. Some point I trade the trade for the bishop. Uh, is there what's where is this? Is there some trick that I'm missing? 96 I can just take. I don't I don't understand. Is there some trick? Like I'm looking for a trick here. I, I don't see the trick though. But I can always just take the bishop. I don't see the trick. What is this idea here? If here I can just take and I can always just take. It was knight d5. So obviously I can trade here or not. I will just trade and go knight c4. I can always go e6 if he takes with a bishop. Don't know if he's going to take with a pawn or how he's taking here, but I like my position quite a bit. He takes with the bishop. So I can play knight c4 here. I can also go e6. Take the bishop back. e6 looks pretty reasonable, but is it best? Probably not. So let's go knight c4. He takes. I will take. Play e5. I mean, I can also go b4. I can also play for f5. Not easy to play here. So I'm going to go queen b8. Idea b4. Idea rook c8. Play all, all the way on the queen side here if I can. I always, always have rook e8. Like if queen h4, I can also go a5. Idea b4. Idea rook c8. Try to stack. Try to hammer away here on the queen side. Knight b3 is actually a very good move. Let's go queen a8. Knight b3 is a very, very good move. D4, interesting. Actually, yeah. Don't like my position. I guess I'll go. Hmm. Finding a way to misplay this. Finding a way to misplay it. I'm gonna play F6. I don't like it at all, but I'll do it anyway. Probably rook C8. Maybe it's A4. A4 rook C8. Next move should be fine. Knight A5. I think I just go back. So let's go here. Target the bishop. Rook C8. Probably I'll play for e5 at some point, like e5, bishop e6. I also put the rook on the wrong square here. Yeah, I put the rook completely on the wrong square. So here, attack the rook. Okay, but now I get rook d8 and d5, and now I'm probably actually very happy. Oh, he's got that, which I forgot about. Let's go here. e6. He still doesn't have a rook d1. The bishop prevents it, so I think I'm okay. Go here and like queen e7 or f7. I have to be careful how I play this. There, I guess I'll go. I do have h5 here. I can maybe try to play on the king side. I guess I'll do it. I'm gonna go here, try to just smash the center a little bit. Take with the rook, open it up. I have e5 maybe. It looks pretty decent here. Obviously, go e. I can also go here. But then he goes queen c2 and he angles the diagonal, so I don't want to give him that. Go e5, keep building here. Probably I'm going to stack soon, too. Knight e4, I have f5. I also have queen d7. Go here, remove the knight. Go here, I have bishop d3. Queen d7. Uh, what? That's just a blunder. He missed bishop d3. I need a mask it for the four months. I need a scopy for the 12. Thank you so much. Scopy, appreciate it. Thank you. It was just GG's. He has some knight a5 trick, but I have queen b7. Okay. Go here, target the queen. I have f4, which is probably good. I'm, again, I don't really want to risk blundering, so I'm just going to take the pawn. Queen h4. That doesn't do anything, though, because I can just pick him back with bishop f6. With bishop g5, I always have queen d4 check. Now let's just trade it down. No no blunders. Oh my gosh, I just hung the pawn on c4. Oy, oy, oy. What did I just... Oh, okay, that was insane. Still going to win the game, but that was insane. Can Arjun or Nihal reach 2700? Of course. Um... Take and go here. Now the question is, do I go D3 or do I go like I go F4? Now I have Rook C5. 
but now I can go... I have D3 always, but I think this is correct. Wait, why did I just do that? Oh my gosh. I am really throwing hard. <sighs> wow. Let's go here. Oh, I'm still going to win because of the time situation, I think. Pawn is too fast. I just have A2 next move, and that's just game over. A2, A1. How do I trap the knight? Go rook B2, and the knight, the knight is trapped. Let's go here, trap the knight. No squares, the horsey is, is done. That's two up, four to go. Whoa, thank you to Tasm for the 10 gifted. Thank you so much to Tasm. Thank you to Pyrat for the 7. Thank you to AAL for the 31. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go here and here. We're almost there. Five five more to go, right? For the even 20, I think. Play the right order this time. I'm going to blunder again. It worked so well last time that I'm going to intentionally blunder again. It works so, so well. I'm going to just going to blunder because I want to see him prove, prove that it's right. I'm going to do the same blunder. Same blunder. Let's go here. Queen e2 or queen e4. Oh, this is vintage Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah, vintage. Yeah, he plays e6, so he doesn't actually. Okay, so I guess I'll just drop back now. It's actually interesting. It's quite different. I have the bishop. Diag I have the diagonals for the bishop here. I can play a4. I don't really like it. Although it's not bad. Let's just go a3. Maybe c4, maybe d4 at some point. With a4, I'll go b4, of course. So I guess I'll play c4. I have to kind of open this up at some point. Still is 95, but I think I have queen e2 or queen f4. I have queen e4, queen c2. It should still be fine. Here and here. Pawn is weak on, on c6. Pawn is also weak on a4. I think what I want to do is I think I start with... Uh, do I start with... I think I start with d3. I want to play knight e4. Of course, I blundered this. Completely forgot this was a move. Whoa! Thank you to Tasm for the 50 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Tasm for the 50 gifted. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Tasm for the 50 gifted. Wow, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you. Uh, now, I am in a bit of a pickle here. This is not great. I'll go here. I guess I have knight e4, knight c5. So it's, it's somewhat okay. Let's go here, knight c5. <sighs> Once I get the knight to c5, I think I'm just better. Because a4 is super, super weak here. It was 94. I can obviously trade, but I think I just go. I'm gonna go here. Now I still have knight c5. Okay, but now I have bishop e3, and I think I'm starting to slightly unwind this just a little bit. Also, I had bishop g5, which was probably better. But I have misplayed this. Now, now I'm in trouble. I go bishop g5, queen d3 is a problem. Why did I do this? So stupid. They do Gunner's Glory for the 10 Gifteds. I think I have to just go here, sack upon and play, basically. And trust that I have enough counterplay to maybe salvage. Let's go here. I mean, I have B5 lurking in the wings, too. So maybe it's not so bad. There's Rook D4. Logical move. Do you have bishop? No, I don't have bishop f6. I do have knight f6, maybe. I think I'm going to do it. There. I guess I'm going to rotate my knight back. Now I have bishop f6. I have bishop e3 to hit the rook. I have to be careful that I don't get something trapped here, but I think it's okay. Five. Okay, that looks like a mistake. I don't know how big of a mistake it is, though. Go here and force a trade. Hanging for a long time here. Now, if I take, he goes king g8. 
go here. Might be four, so I still can't take, I guess. So I guess I'll go back to C1. Trying to get some tricks here. Knight A5, Knight B6, Knight B6 maybe. He's way down on time. Like, he's down a lot. So, here maybe? I'm going to try to win, obviously. No, no draws. Go here, I hit the rook. Go here, hit the rook. Now I take the pawn. I mean, I think I'm on my way to another win. He's got no time either, I just realized. I was about to blunder there. Yikes. That was about to be a very big blunder. Okay, I, I can just flag him, though, I guess. Rook A5 is a move. Go here. I think I have some tricks needed. Let's go here on King D3. I'm up a lot of time still. Here, knight f6 is a big threat. Takes now, he gets mated on f7. Next move, classic checkmate here. It's three away now. Let's let's keep going with c5. Keep rolling. Uh, I'll keep playing the dragon. It's been working out. Thank you to Jay Oxmore for the three months. A talent or spin, uh, what'd you say? Sicilian all day. Yeah, Sicilian is a great opening. It's the best opening named after the great Sicilians. Go here, rook c8, of course, all the same stuff. Castle to cat. Ah, so okay, so he goes back to this, so let's castle. He plays king b1. Um, I know e5 is still a good move here as well, because I can still take and play rook c6. He plays knight b5, I think d5 is still always a move. So he should take with a C pawn, I believe, as I recall. Isn't this something named after a sandwich? No, it's not. This is the A pawn. I know it's a move. Um, I think I take and play D5 here, as I recall, and then A6. So A6, B5. Actually, wait, no, I think it was Queen D7. Wait, I just misplayed this. Wait, I just misplayed this completely. Why did I do that? Hmm. I'll go here. So bad. Just so bad. I completely misplayed this. I guess I'll go f5 and just takes. Was that order? Uh, I think I can play here now, though. Don't know if that was completely correct. There he does. He goes 95, which allows me to take. Oh no, he's got 97. Uh, literally, my whole concept collapsed here. We'll go here and rook b6. Maybe I still have knight f6 and some hope. Probably really bad. My rook is also extremely bad on b6 here. Maybe if I can get my knight out, I can still put pressure. I also have rook f6 to put pressure on d6. Not so clean. Not so clean for white anymore. So much better, obviously, but it is. Do I have some way to salvage this? Is the question. Um, rook f6, bishop g5, take, take this fine. Go here. Wait, queen g5? Oh, he's. Oh, he has a trick. He has a trick. If I take, he's got a trick. There's some way that I can do anything. Maybe knight h5? try at least 
quite sure it doesn't work, but it's worth a shot. Maybe Rook F7 was... Nah, Rook F7 didn't work either. Probably just lost. Blunder this opening. Need a pawn moment for the Thomas. I should... What, what'd you guys say? You said I should focus on what? On Classical? I mean, of course, Classical is always there, and I'll be playing the Grand Prix. That's what it is. But I would say, again, you guys, I've said it before, I'm a streamer first. Um, you know, going, going from the grind of a stream uh, where you make, you know, five times as much money as a professional chess player... Um, back to back to playing playing every single week or every tournament traveling traveling non-stop i mean that's not that's not always something that's interesting um i can play bishop f6 here um i also have f4 i mean my position is absolutely horrendous but maybe i can come up with some miracle i don't see it though knight g3 what about knight g3 knight g3 knight g3 is definitely a move here No, I can't go there. I mean, this is just lost, I guess. I mean, I have to just move, I guess, and hope. But I... Nothing's working. Got Rook G1. No, wait. Rook G1's not the move. No. Wait. Still tricky. Rook E1 is probably just winning, I guess. I'll pre-move King G7 because it's a safe pre-move. He's using a lot of time though, which I guess is goes to h5. Okay, he goes to h5, which I assume is winning, but I assume it's winning somehow, but I don't see the win right off. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Let's see if I take, take, take. I don't see the win. Let's see, where's the win here? I'm sure he has a win. I'm sure that he's mating me, but I don't see it. Okay. I'm threatening. Th no, he's actually misplayed this. He's not even winning anymore. Oh, I think I, I think I, I think I got extremely lucky. But now I just take, and he just loses. Crazy. Now I just loses. Unbelievable. I use Sunny two seventy one. Appreciate. It. Thank you. These are not good songs. Okay, you don't like the song. Fine. There we go. Next one. Play E four again. Knight c3, knight f3. I can just take. Okay, we're two away, two away. Go here, back to the same routine. We keep playing this. I'm going to do the mouse slip again. It's been working so well. Uh, let's go here and b3. Let's do the mouse slip. We're going to play the mouse slip gambit. So I think it's it's reasonable, actually. It looks it looks pretty reasonable here. Go here, target the knight. knight okay, takes. I'll just take and go work b1. It's a weird position. It's probably about equal but it's a strange pawn structure yeah i think actually somehow my uh, my spotify was not on um on shuffle i don't know why need to wear his gene for the eighth thing i'm a great for the three months let's go here my my, my vacation was very very good very good i feel very rejuvenated sometimes you really do need breaks it has to be said Okay, I can go queen f3. I mean, d3 looks fine. I'm just going to go d3 and maybe queen f3. It looks very pleasant for me. Very, very pleasant. Um, but yeah, that's what I would say is like, sometimes you need breaks. And, and again, I mean, you know, that's the thing. It's like, uh, for example, I took what, eight, nine days off. And I think I lost about 2,500 subs, was it maybe? I, I went from, I think, close to 7,000 subs down to um, down to 4,888, if that's to be, if that's correct. Um, but again, sometimes you need a break. And that's what makes, um, that's what, that's what makes, uh, that's, that's what makes, um, one second. If I take knight h5, what's going on? Takes rook e5. Yeah, I'm just gonna go queen f3. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go queen f3. That's what makes streaming so hard, of course. Is that like that's the thing? Is like everyone's like you're you're so worried because that is like that's like what six thousand, seven thousand dollars that you lose uh, from not streaming for like a week, and that's that's what I think a lot of people forget is that um, is that when you don't stream, like people forget that it's like that's 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 really the hardest thing is that you're always worried about those numbers and seeing them go down and so forth and and yada 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 but yeah so that's, that's what i'd say seven thousand dollars a week while not well what did i go from i went from like close to seven thousand so what 2100 2100 times 2.5 uh that's that's what like five thousand a little over five a little over a little over five thousand yeah so like that's kind of what i'm saying it's it's very a lot of people don't realize that 
Um, I can play, I mean, I can play H4. I don't like it. I think I'm going to reroute my knight somehow if I can. I mean, the, the pawn is weak on, on E5. Well, my bishop is a problem too on B2, maybe. Depends. Does Twitch penalize you for losing, losing, uh, for taking a break? No. Wait. Oh, he has some trick here? Wait a second, wait a second, wait, wait a second. Bishop g7, there's just knight g5. I guess that's his idea. And queen g4, he's just going to trade it all down. Oh, very unfortunate that I did not see that idea. Maybe I can throw in a flank. No, c5 is no good if I take. Knight g5, queen c3, rookie 2, bishop h6. Wait a second. H6, f6. Wait. Feels like there should be some trick here, but I, I, don't, I don't have time to spot it. I really don't have time. Ugh, I don't have time, so I'm just going to move. And this is also not a great move. Well, I guess I have Bishop F4, so it's not so bad. It goes F5, logical move. I think I'm going to get frisky maybe with G4. Or not. No, actually, I, I should just be smart. I should just be smart. I'm still up on the clock. I just need to be a little bit smart about how I play this. Of course, that was not smart. Let's go here. I feel like I'm on the brink of making another huge blunder as well. Feels like it. Here. I have bishop a3. That's my idea, at least. Let's see what happens here. Because I can take go king h2, maybe. Oh, but he just got that. Yeah. I just did what I did before. I just got Carol's for one move and just threw the game. Wow. Wait. Wait. He just blundered. Wait. He just made a huge blunder. What was that by Elham? He tried to simplify and he did not do it correctly. That doesn't mean that I'm actually doing great either, but I have chances now at least. Look here. We'll go. Or maybe I want to go like rook d8. Here. I mean, I can just tickle him because he's got no time. Let's go here, knight c4. Here. Here, I guess. Okay, now the question is, how do I win here? Do I go here and here? I mean, he's got he's got plans. Let's go here. Um. Okay, now we make a queen, check and rook b7. There we go. Good stuff. All right, one more to get back to 80. Let's go here and here. Thank you to Anish for the 18 months. Arjun gained 157 points in two blitz events. Yeah, um, he did. Okay, I'm going to play the Dragdorf. Let's play a Dragdorf instead. Go here, knight d7. Completely different setup. Okay, I'm going to go h5 and knight d7, of course. I don't want to give him bishop h6. Let's see how he responds to the drag door. Who is Hassan? Do you mean Hassan? Uh, I'm not watching Arcane currently. I am familiar with it, though. Um, if I take or not is a question. I can take. I can also just go here and trade, I guess. Actually, this makes much more sense to get rid of the bishop, which is very powerful. I'll pre-move this. It goes king b1. I guess I'll just take. Oh, he's, oh, he can do this, which I should not have allowed, but oh well. We'll play e5 and bishop e7. Kind of reasonable. Drop back. Strange position. Very, very strange position. I'll go here, of course. I don't like that move either. 
I don't understand what um what exactly is playing for. I guess I'll just go here and maybe rook d8, maybe d5 at some point. Maybe just h4 is a move. Just there. Um, I guess I'll move the bishop back just to avoid weird knight a5 tricks. I do have a5 at some point as well. Maybe a5, queen c4. A lot of peace play here in the center of the board. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, the blunder. I do have rook c6, rook a6, maybe. So there is some danger. Let's go back, I guess. And I have a five of h4. I don't know if I like knight takes a5. Actually, it feels a little bit sketchy. He plays f4. I don't know if his idea is f5 or what his idea is. I can obviously take and go f5. 5 rookie 2, and I don't have a good reply. Actually, I can take and go d5. This is the way to play it. Because now I open up the scope. I target the bishop. He has to deal with the rook, which is in trouble on e1. This is actually very... Wait, what? The free bishop? Let me blunder that. Yeah, I can just take the bishop probably and go rookie 8. Here, force rooks off, and everything is guarded. And I also have a, I also have an ice skater on G1 as well to boot. So it should just be GGs. Okay, I guess I'll just trade. Resigns. Let's go again. One more. The E4. Actually, why did I start another one? Wait, wasn't I going to stop at 80? I was gonna stop at 80. Oh well, let's let's go again. Last one. Uh, I'm gonna go here in D4. Yeah, he plays that, so I'm just gonna play something very slow this time. One more chat, yes, Kappa. Exactly. I don't know why I said that. I said one more, and then it's like, oh yeah, well, let's just play more, more, more. Um, I can play Bishop G5 here. I mean, C3 is fine. I think I'm just gonna go here if he plays the e4 i'll drop back and go c4 i, th I mean i think I, I think this is good for me but maybe it's not very double-edged probably but i i like the i like the peace play it was queen e7 which i'm actually quite surprised by because now he doesn't get knight e5 and c4 i think that's something of a mistake how do i do this i think i'll just go back and play rook d1 here probably target the pawn I also have Bishop C2. Get a go go gadget soul for the nine months. Thank you so much. A go go gadget soul. I should have gone rookie two and rookie one, but say la vie, as they say in France. Um, I still like my position though. You know, Jamo the best for the five months. I think Jamo the best. But yeah, it's eh, it's what it is. He plays h6. I, I don't like that at all. I think he's I feel like Al Ham is losing the thread of what, what's important in this position. Which is basically that he's not getting f5 in the chain here because he, he didn't go knight e5 in one jump. And now he gets desperate. He gets desperate with b5, which is actually a telling sign. Problem is he's not in time, though. He's just not in time. Still crashing through in the center. He's trying to get knight e5, but now it's too late. It's just way too late now. Uh, he can go knight h7. Yes, he could go knight h7. But the thing is, if he goes knight h7 to play for it, I have some c5 opening up the scope this way. So it's just it's too little too late, as Jojo would say. Um, let's go bishop d4. I'm gonna take and take on e4, no nonsense. Actually, this might just be game over because I have a fork here. I have a big fork. It's a huge jumbo. Jumbo fork. Probably is gonna resign here. But yeah. Ali Reza loves France. He's going to change his name to Pierre Le Pew. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Um, oh, I'm sure Ali Reza misses, misses Iran, though, because, I mean, he obviously, like, when, when he was emotional, when they played the Fr French national anthem, that was clearly because, I mean, yeah, I mean, it should have been the other anthem, obviously. But, I mean, yeah, he, he's, he's young, though. He's a kid. So I'm sure, I mean, he'll he'll probably get used to get used to being in um, being in France. Thank you to Andy Dillon for the five months. All right, so he resigns. That's another win. 17 to 3. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to take a short break. 